Hey, what do you think of Snowman? Do you think Snowman? So turn the camera that way. That way. No, turn the camera that way. That way. That way. That way. Go, 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 go. Guys, come in. Come in. That's them. That's them. Come in. Negotiate that contract. Yesterday. Do you, do you understand me? I don't care what she does. Oh, you do? No. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be with you in two, two, three, two minutes. Um, Who's this fella? I don't know. Um, oh my god. Do you think it's a good idea or scum and Tell them. Huh? Do you think it's a good idea or scum in here? Don't know guys, guys, lovely to meet you. Wow, wow, you just ooze authority and intimidation as well. Very good, I like that. Come on, sit down, sit down, come on. Guys, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's cut to the speed chase. I'm Shane Darcy with Fib TV. Ring a bell, no? Frontier International Irish Broadcaster. We are literally the most professional, cutting edge, and sexy broadcaster out there now at the moment. Which brings me to what you two are here. We are still on duty, I'm just wondering, will they take very long? <laughs> That's the attitude I'm talking about! Straight to the point and always about the job first. I like that, I like that O'Connor, it's good. Guys, I want you two to be the new face of the Gardaí Shikana. You feel that? Who is the old face? I don't know, probably somebody important or something like that. But my point is, is I want to bridge the gap between the public and the guards. So that finally they can see the man behind the uniform. And they don't see you for the old stiff old guards that you usually are as well, you know? We kind of get rid of that image. Did you just call us stiff old guards? So it would be a documentary about us then? And uh, how would that work? Would, uh... Of course it is. It's about you, O'Connor. Okay. I've seen your stats. You make Temple Moore seem like Temple Boar. You're a guard machine. You come from a family of guards. You do things by the book. You've got integrity, my man. I'm listening. Go on. And O'Neill, I've heard a lot about you. You're a renegade cop who does things his own way. I want to know what drives that crazy engine, you know? You worked your butt off to get into the guards, my man. And God, yeah, regardless of that little bit of a dodgy, troubled, turbulent history you had back in your old rocking Whoa, days, you know? Hold on, hold on, who, who told you about that? What will happen is our professional camera crew, see our professional camera crew here, will follow you around for a few days. You show them the ropes, they spend a bit of time with you, you do your thing, be all guard alike. And at the end of the day, we make sure that you look great on camera. Tell your story, you know? The world wants to know. Sure, if we're going to be getting paid, sure, why not? Then we can show all these people at home and these lads what it's like to be a real guard. Yeah, hang on now, you. Um... Okay, um, <clears throat> so we live in a small town. Yeah, lovely town. Indeed, yeah. Uh, but it can be fierce threatening, like. I say it's very threatening. It's fierce threatening. I don't think you but understand how threatening it is, though. It's very threatening. But very. As, as threatening as it is, yeah. there's times when it's quiet as well. So the concern I have is that you guys would make us look like a couple of slackers around the place, you know? Yeah, and we wouldn't want that. Guys, 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 guys. These guys. Yeah. Guys, this is television. We have splicing and dicing machines for that. By the time we're finished, we're going to make you look like garlic gods. The women are going to be begging to be arrested. Guys. This is a serious opportunity. This is a chance for you two to make a real difference. For your country. Okay. Leave it with me, I'll have a think about it. Hey, sign me up, I'm well up for the crack. Great guys, I'm so happy you're on board. Camera, let's take a picture. No, no, I'm, I'm, We're all I'm in and the, cheers. To, cheers. Hello, I'm Garda O'Neill. I'm Garda O'Connor. And you boys have chosen us two guards to show you around rural Ireland. Ireland even, yeah, because Ireland, yeah. Ireland because, do you know why? Because we're the best of the best. Yeah, well, I suppose it was a, a bit of a lottery or a competition to who'd be chosen, and we were the ones that came out tops. So. Tops, because we are the tops. We are, I, we've a lot to show you guys. It'll be an interesting time around, and you know, we haven't seen cameras in that much around is, here. Is this so. been shown in America, is it? I think it is. It yeah. is, right. Now, I tell you yeah. what, it ain't no joke out here now in rural Ireland. Sure, the other day, this man nearly got ran over by a tractor, didn't you? I did, yeah. That tractor scared me, though, to be honest. Like, I've a dog at you home. You haven't slept right since, have you? No. But I tell you one thing, you boys are about to witness the fitness of this now. The best of the best are going to show you how it's done. Hello, I'm Garda O'Neill. Uh, myself and Garda O'Connor have been wiping the floor since Temple Moor together. Uh, I play Ga. Who doesn't? Um, I'm also a bit of a singer. Here I am trying to tell you. I love my job now, to be honest. I, I just like the, the thrill of, uh, you never know what's going to happen. And uh, just the excitement of it all, just, it just makes me get up in the morning and just, just give me that extra boost I need, you know. I'm Gardo O'Connor. I'm proud to be a guard. Um, my father was a guard before me. This is actually his hat here. Just following his footsteps. Hi, Dad. And um, 
things that are important to me, I guess, would be um, justice, protecting the innocent. To do that, then I have to be at my fighting best, which means correct protein intake, and uh, that's it. End the story. And going undercover requires some serious skills. You got to be able to blend in with the underground, speak their lingo, walk the talk, talk the walk. It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. Yeah, man, I just got back from LA there yesterday. We're going to have a massive party. Loads and loads of women, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to sort that stuff out for us. What do you mean, no? That's ridiculous, man. I've got so many people coming over. I've got so many women. There's going to be women for everybody, man. Whoever brings that stuff is going to get so many girls. I keep on telling them to take off that feckin' hat and scarf. The state of him. Who does he think he is? Colin Farrell? I'm surprised he can actually breed in those jeans. Has to jump off the top bunk in the morning to get in them. But I've got a big party and lots of girls. You guys are invited if you want. I'm looking for make new friends around here and stuff, but I'm just looking for a bit of, a bit of weed. Ash. You know? Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, Where do you think yeah. yours are going, boys? Okay. Put down the cans. Yeah, now. Put down the cans. See that? Oh. Look, there you go. Bye, There's bye. Your drink. Say goodbye to your Saturday night, because you won't be drinking again. There you go. I'd spray it all over the ground. That's where it should be going. You're too young for this, lads. Now listen. You play guy, do you? Yeah. You play guy, you do? Yeah. But well, you're going to be benched now. You were smirking your face. Are you all right? You think this is funny? You think this is funny? Go on. A warning. Let them away this time. Go on. Go away. You're Sorry, guys. You're looking in a good mood. I'm in good humor. Go on. Go Thanks, on. Guys. Wave at you. Thanks. Stick out a cup of coffee for me, Mary, if you're putting on one, please. I'll have one too. Good girl. She's a fine chicken, she, she do. She young lads these days are all hopped up in MDMNs and ketamine. She have to be you have to be taking that stuff really to pull up with the shite that's on the telly and the radio these days. When I was a boy, we got up to all sorts of messing. But we didn't have these big satellite phones the size of books. Frying the brains off us. No wonder the kids these days have their hair spiked up like this. It's probably to get better signal for their phones. Open, you piece of shite, will you? What's wrong with you? Stupid word won't open against frozen. Let's get that report done for the Sarge. Those jokes were as old as the Vikings. Here, you want to be using this, look. Mobile phone technology. You're not allowed to use that for reports. Report. Facebook, well I'm on Tinder now at the minute actually. What's Tinder? If the Sergeant knew that he was using those phones to do the reports, he'd go mentally would. But sure, you can't blame him. The, the computers are as slow as the hills around here. Those computers in the office, they take longer to wake up in the morning than the granny herself. You see, the budget for the guards, it's tighter than the cabin man's handbag. Tinder doesn't Will you look anything. at these two multi slackers, huh? Bernard. Did you crack the next level of Candy Crush, huh? What does that tell you? Top score. All fair play to you. Yeah. Two feckin' chances, huh? There's one of these Egypts in every station in the country. Power trippers. I tell you what, see that? If he wasn't the guard. Bernard, what can we do for you? Hey! Do you not get bored out of your mind filming these two wannabe guards? We're as much guards as you are, Bernard. We are the protectors of this area. We've been here far longer than you, so I tell you what, uh, run along there now before oh, we... Oh, Jesus, I'm nearly asleep problem. listening to you. Christ, is it, is it boring the, 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 the criminals to death? That's what you do, is it? You, you put them to sleep with their monotone voice, I'm telling you. We have to put up with awful shite from him the whole time, so we do. I really don't understand how someone could become such a f***er. It's those cork boys, I think. You want to get some serious psychologist there to figure out some... Just what the hell is going on with those boys down there? I wouldn't even call you security guards. More like insecurity guards. <laughs> the insecure one around here, Bernard, with that stupid stab vest on you. Where do you think you are, Calcutta? You do know you're in the office, you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're very funny, lads. Very funny. You know, you two think you're like Starsky and Hutch, but I tell you what. You're about as useful as a car key and clutch. Car key and clutch, that's, that's comedy right there. You should be filming him as right. What do you want, Bernard? We've worked it in. The sergeant is pulling out all the stops in this one. On what? On what? On what? You haven't heard? No, that's why I said on what. What is it, oh, Bernard? Oh, some guards, yeah. Some guards, yeah. Yes, huh? we're, we're some guards. Come on, will you? Petty Swan's pub was robbed last night. What? Something about a, a, a good luck charm. The axe. Was it the axe? That's right, that's right. Oh, Jesus. You probably heard him. The axe. You boys wouldn't know anything about that now, would you? That's going to destroy him. We have to go. Come on, I've been drinking in Swan since I was a boy. My father. His father. My father's father's father. Oh, but this was just pushing out the boat too far. In fact, there's no boat anymore. That's how far this is after being pushed. Now, I can forgive the odd bit of missing. You know, I've even left behind the odd murder too, but the local being robbed, that's tipping the point over too far in my book. 
just been in there for generations. Hey, 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 hold your fucking hot cap here now. The sergeant said you have to get the, you have to get statements off everyone who's on this list. It's whoever was in the pub last night. Grant, you leave oh. the detective work to me. This is a load of horse muck. I know Paddy Swan longer than you and longer hey, than you. Hey, watch your mouth there now, Gerd O'Neill. This is my investigation and if you two go against rules, I'll have you sanctioned. Bar Sergeant's Bar orders. I wouldn't put those two lads in charge of a car, let alone a wheelbarrow. They don't know what it takes to uphold the law around here, but I tell you what, I do. Bernard! Hey, if it were up to me, I wouldn't let you do security at Super Value. Bernard, get out of our way and let us do our job. Oh, I'm warning you. Don't go interfering or I'll have your ass. What? Get out of the way. What's the top of your ass? A pair of cheap tools. That Bernard fella does my head in. Next time I see him, next time I'm gonna give him a kick into the kidneys. Same, and not if I get there first. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Before you knock in here, think. Do we really have to ask this one questions? We she's do. as mad as a bag of plastic forks. And she's as randy as a dog in heat. Look, we do. She's on the list, so serious now. Come on, no messing. I, if I were you, stand back a bit. She likes the young and handsome men, okay? Right, here we go. We should be up in swans. I know. I know that public, the back of me dog's I back. Know. We shouldn't be here I asking know. stupid Ellen's questions. I think she's in this. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss Mooney. Miss Mooney. Oh, this is a nice surprise. If you're here to arrest me, you're gonna have to frisk me first. We're here in serious guard of business now, Miss Mooney. Yeah, so don't be acting the Mickey Joe. We've some serious questions to ask you now, right? Won't you come in for a cup of tea or maybe a back rub? No, no, we just want to know where you were last night. I was in Swans, why? Mrs. Mooney. She's a wild rabbit, that one. I heard she took the virginity off um, Mrs. Moore's son. There was war over it. That young lad wanted to get his island water checked, that's all I'll say. It was when you fighting again. It's none of your concern, that scared Oh, don't know whose axe was stolen from the pub last night. You better tell us everything you know. Everything. Are you for real? What? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, don't get me started with Mrs. Mooney. She only called us out last week, right? Said she was being assaulted by a dog. A dog. She ended up handcuffing herself to guard O'Connor's belt. There's no sign of a dog anywhere. Poor Paddy must be distraught. Did you see anything suspicious around the ordinary? Really? Just hold on a second, I'll get something from the house. Miss Mooney? Miss Mooney! What no. did you say that to her? What did you say that to her? stuck here all day now listening to the tape. She's mad as a box of biscuits, she's going to tell the entire town. Miss Mooney! Miss Mooney! Miss Mooney, okay? 